Well, hello, Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. All right, you guys already know how this works. This is your Vlogmas. And of course, these are all pre-shuffled for those who are new to my channel. If you are new to my channel, by the way, please like and subscribe. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and split the deck and we're gonna see what messages we have for you, Sag. And before I do that, let me put some lotion on these knuckles, okay? I don't want y'all talking about me, Sag. <laughs> Best friends are always honest, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started and see what we have for you, Sag. Gonna do these two. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and get it. Sag, yes. Nine of cups, nine of waters. Your wish comes true. Sag, did you have something like this before? I'm not even sure. I, I'm not sure, but you, like lately your reads have been so on point. It's like if you get the same thing every day, that's like miraculous. <laughs> that's like absolutely fantastic. So here, um, you know, Sag, even though a lot of you guys may be going through different circumstances, different trials, things of that nature, um, it's here to let you know that whatever it is that you want, you, you're wishing, you're dreaming, um, you know, you will have. And I feel like it's always based on time. Remember, you're the Sag card, you're the temperance, okay? So you talk about time, perfect timing, at the right time, things of that nature. So I do see... Um, any, I mean, I love these cards in general, but I do see that your wish. Now, if you pay attention to the bottom, you see how like all that treasure, treasure is there? Just right at the bottom. It's right beneath the surface, okay? So this is kind of like a you know message for you guys that you know what? Even though it may appear on the surface that you guys are kind of lacking, whether it's love, money, or whatever, you know, things are going to come to fruition and it's just below. So it'll be, you know, soon. It'll be soon. Um, some of you guys have are new to the channel. So your, your trials is almost, I guess I'll say, have just begun. There are some Sages that have graduated already. I don't even see them on my channel anymore. Um, and, and it was funny because they let me know that people either came back or they got jobs, things of that nature. So it's, it's cycles. And that's just one thing I want you guys to know, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and see what else we have for you, Sag. All right, let's turn it over here. We have the Eight of Swords and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now here, oh, we were, weren't we just talking about this? I think you kind of had something like this before. This is almost like identical to uh, to your uh, read. I believe it was you. I do so many in a day, I'm not sure. But what is this? The illusion of entrapment. Okay, and I, I, it was you, Sag, because I remember I was talking about self-confidence, about how you guys, um, you know, you guys are so magical. And this is the reason why I love you guys so much. It's because your attitude, the way you are, your vibrancy, all of that. Um, here is saying, take action. You know, what is it that you guys want to do? This was your read. This was your read before. Um, something, that, something that spirit is really trying to um, get you guys to get y'all they're, they're trying to make you guys understand something it's like it's it, this is like about timing so you know you guys may be thinking about starting something um, you may want to be you may want to do something and I feel like it's like you can do it but you're unsure so it's like you're almost lacking confidence that it will work out okay so here it's like hey you know um don't be afraid to take action. Take action. Right now, this is just an illusion that things won't turn out right, okay? And look at what happens when you do. You know, you become very, um, you know, bountiful, very beautiful, okay? Very, um, you know, here with the Queen of uh, Pentacles, very stable. Financially, mentally, all of that. That is a beautiful card. I love that dress and I love that huge pinnacle she has in her hand. So I feel like it's all about you. It's something within you that, you know, right now spirit is saying, hey, it only if they do it, only if they just take that step, you know, and I feel like this has nothing to do with love. I feel like this is about your ambitions, about things that you guys really want to achieve in life. 
And, you know, I know for a fact that that happens, that sometimes we kind of are like, uh, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if this is, if this is going to be, you know, be good. If anyone will like it, do it. Just do it. Especially if it doesn't hurt anyone, you know, or hurt you, you know, not saying that you got to quit your job or anything, but do what you feel like you need to do in, in order to make that next step and take that next step. Okay. Because guess what's waiting for you? Stability and happiness. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go to your other deck, Sag. <clears throat> All right. We know we're going to get three from this deck. I love this deck. It's so, so colorful, but it's so slippery. <laughs> All right, here. Hangman, Nine of Wands, Death. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Now I'm going to put this like this. I want to see how this works out. I believe something had ended in the past. Okay, so let's say we, you know, get off of finances, even though this could be financial. This can talk about something that you guys have lost as far as a job, a business, anything like that. And you guys are kind of just hanging on, you know, and you're tired. You need, you need something to happen as far as finances. Okay, definitely see that. But what's the point here? Remember, we're talking about the nine of uh, nine of uh, cups, which talks about your wish of something working out. Now, here, even with the queen, stability. Now, if we're going to talk about a, a connection, a relationship here, something had ended, okay? And you know, maybe you're still stuck on that person. Maybe you know. Um, you know, you are. You feel like you can't move forward from it, and you're just tired. I believe that no matter what it is that you guys have been through, you guys are still standing. I love this. I love this deck because, I mean, look at her legs. I'm telling you, you make you want to work out, right? <laughs> Not only is she standing there, you know, bandaged up. Okay. She's, she is standing strong. Okay. And so I feel like that is exactly where you guys are. You guys have been through a lot. There are some battles, okay, that you fought, but nonetheless, you guys are still standing. And I feel like the part of the hangman is an enlightenment, almost saying, you know, just to move on, because there's a part of you that may see things from a different perspective. And this is you getting out of that position, standing straight, erect, on your feet, ready to start your life again. Um, so whatever it is that has happened to you, um, it's not going to keep you down. It's just, it's not. Um, and I feel like, you know, whether it's job, love, family, you guys are moving, you're strong, and you're going to be getting in a better position because your overall reading is saying your wish. But I love the fact that spirit is saying, but we, we understand what Sag has been through. We don't want to leave that part out, but I see it. Okay. Let's go ahead and get another deck for you guys. Let's see what the read is today. All right. So here we have, oh, this thing, this, this person cannot stay out of y'all read. <laughs> Sag, I literally was so happy that I got right here and did not get this card yet. I was like, oh, thank God. Sure enough, there's that night. Somebody is depressed as hell. And uh, it was so funny because I saw in some of the, sorry guys. All right, Sag, I'm sorry about that. Let me tell you what's so funny about this. My sister is a Sag, okay? And, and the, the, the call that you heard yesterday was her in the middle of a Sag video. The call that you that you hear today in the middle of a Sag video is, is my sister. It's almost like she's tapped in. And I'm like, okay, would you leave me alone? <laughs> Okay, I'm like, good Lord, what's the odds? But anyway, and sorry, I usually keep my phone off, but of course you guys already know, I go out, okay, um, and uh, real early in the morning, I do my runs and I forget to cut my phone down most of the time. Let me go ahead and cut that down. I apologize, but you guys are my best friend, so you guys know how I go. Listen, Sag, I'm trying to get this person out of your read as much as possible. And I'm telling you, there is nothing that I can do. You guys, I shuffle. I I, I, pull, I literally split the deck. I cut the deck and this person still shows up. Now, let me tell you what I'm thinking now. 
I feel that, yeah, there is a portion of somebody that wants to come back, but now spirit is kind of letting me know that I feel like, Sash, this is you. I feel like you guys are um, understanding how important it is for you guys to act in order to move because you can't be in this position of the moon anymore. You can't be down. You cannot, um, you know, because this talks about illusion just as much as is this that other card that we looked at, which talks about the entrapment, the illusion of entrapment. And I feel like once you guys get it, once you really get a grasp, a full hold of it, this is you moving full steam ahead. So yes, so for those of you who are like, hey, nobody's coming back, you know, it's going to be for some, yes, because I've, I've seen it. But for others, this, this nine of wands is you, Sag. This is your passion, your drive to move forward out of a lot of these, this type of situation, depression, sadness, illusionary things. Okay. I heard Sag. Because I was like, what is this? What is this? And I literally, I heard Sag. So this is the reason why I know that's why this Nine of Cups is going to happen. Because now you guys are ready. You're ready to move. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go to your next deck, Sag. It's always this one card. <laughs> They give me the flux. Always. Always this one card. All right. So let's go ahead and get these. Get two more. All right. Let's see what we got. So here, this moon again. I don't know what's up with this moon. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces. You know, I do not say signs, none whatsoever. But if I see it more than once, I'm going to let you guys know. Now here, again, uh, when it comes down to the moon, this is talking about self, uh, uh, self, um, um, like evolving. You guys are like evolving and, you know, spiritually taking you yourself into a next level. I love this particular one because I read what this meaning was. And I haven't read every meaning, but the ones that I know I needed to read, I read. Because see this crab, it you see how like it, it's almost like that, the, the, the parable in the Bible where, it's, where the dove fell on Christ. But now the sun, the moon, it's not really, it's like the sun and the moon. I just not noticed that. It's like the sun and the moon shining down on the crab. The mother and the father. Okay. So like I said, I do see that this is talking about self-elevation, self-evolving here. Here with the three of cups. Yeah. Like I told you before, there is going to be someone who wants to reunite. But this is also talking about having something to celebrate too. Okay. So you guys, I'm telling you, there's going to be some things that you're going to be like, wow, I didn't even, I would have never even imagined I would even be here. That's how your life is going to be soon. Okay. We got to get out of this funk. We got to get out of this kind of whole thing that's kind of happening right now. All of us are at a standstill. But what you guys have coming, this is inward. This is sad. This is what you have to do because you guys have no problems with attracting people. So this is a sad issue today <laughs> this particular read okay all right so let's go ahead and get your last three cards here let's see what we got we have attraction just said it you have no problem with attracting that here it talks about finances and career some of you guys right now i think i was saying this before about um about money, things of that nature. You know, finances could be an issue because again, I mean, right now, a lot of people are, you know, trying to figure out what's gonna happen. So that could be an issue at the moment, but remember, it's just it's just an illusion. Things will get better. But then you're gonna be right there being able to attract your soulmate in time when it's, when it's, when it's ready, okay? And I want you guys to uh, do a visualizations, uh, affirmations, things of that nature too, which is really, really good. That helps to bring in the things that you guys want and desire. I'll try to do a video about that too, because it works. Okay. So Sag, I really like your read today. It was really about you, the things that you guys really need to look within for. But other than that, it was an excellent reading. So Sag, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I love you always. And I will see you guys back here again tomorrow. Bye.